Hello YouTube, this is Atharva, aka over here, and today we're gonna find out how to calculate or how to identify whether a number, uh, whether a given number is even or odd using a function. So now let's get on with it. A pretty basic program. So yeah, let's dive right in. So now the first thing which we want to do is define a function. You can define the function by def, def in Python and just define it and you just need to name it so i'll be naming it over here um even or odd you can name it pretty much anything you know you can just even name your name over here just a name for the sake of name even or odd that's the function and what's the argument inside it what are the parameters well it's just a number so num. now before that I'll just input the number from the user by just writing because we need to input it, right? We need to identify whether a given number is even or odd. So that's why num is equal to integer input enter a number. Basically what we did is we asked the user for a number. And that's why we wrote int input enter a number. Note that the input function always takes strings. I think over here it's given. Yeah. It always takes strings. So that's why we write int at the beginning. So that it converts. It typecasts the string into int. And we can pass an integer inside the input function. So yeah. This is just inputting an integer. Okay, so now next, uh, by the way, the hashtag is just for comments, if you all don't know. See, that's just for our understanding, what we're doing at each line of the code. So now, uh, after defining the function, what we're going to do is, inside the function, we're just going to write a few if-else statements, just to ad identify whether a number is given, even or odd. So how to do that? Well, it's pretty easy. Uh, it's pretty easy. Like, what's the definition? The basic definition of an even number or, or, or an odd number. The basic definition is basically just if a number is div divided by 2 and if it gives remainder 0, then it's even. If not, then it's odd. So, yeah, if num percentage 2, percentage 2, yeah, just a heads up over here. The percentage over here denotes the remainder. It basically says that if a number is uh, if the number divided by 2 gives a remainder 0 yeah this whole statement read like it the percentage over here is used to signify the remainder and the 2 over here is the divisor yeah so num percentage 2 basically means the remainder which is obtained after the number is divided by 2 if this is equal to equal to 0 if this is 0, then the equal to equal to is used for compa comparing the left hand side with right hand side. We can't just write num percentage to equal to 0 because that will mean that the, this is assigned to 0. This isn't assigned. We're checking whether it's equal to 0 or not. So that's why the equal to equal to operator is used. Num percentage percentage to equal to equal to 0. Then print. What will, what will we print? Num is an even number notice that we didn't put num in the strings yeah we want to print this and we want to print the num so basically if we so how this would be outputted is if we if the num is 8 then it will the, get printed as 8 is an even number yeah we give space after this quotation so that 8 will be placed over here yeah Next, if and then else statement, what would the else statement be? Print num. Yeah, we don't have to write a condition over here that whether this is not equal to zero and stuff because obviously it will be either zero or it won't be zero. The remainder, right? Okay, so num is an odd number. Okay, fine. Now over here, now the important part over here is that there is this one number which is neither odd nor even and that's zero. 
a lot of people actually forget this and just consider uh, just put uh, just put zero as an even number but that's wrong that's not actually what's we, what we're supposed to do so now let's do one thing zero is neither or nor even so what we can do is that we'll put the zero the statement for zero at the start just uh, see what uh, what what i'm doing what we'll do is that we'll put the if statement over here if num equals to equals to zero just direct because yeah if the number is zero then it will neither be neither odd nor even just directly we don't even have to check it because if, if we check then it will become an even number by definition zero is neither odd nor even i hope you guys know that <laughs> so yeah if num is equal to is equal to zero then print num is neither or nor even we just added this one statement right at the start why did we do that because if we wrote this at the end just let us suppose if we wrote this at the end after else then the problem is that this statement would have been executed first num percent is 2 equals to equal to 0 and of course 0 divided by 2 uh, like the 0 when divided by 2 will always give remainder 0 and that's why 0 would have been printed as an even number and not as a the, uh, neither or nor even. Why? Because the if else statements, the one thing, the one speciality of if else statements is that if one statement is correct, if the first one is correct, then it won't move on to the next ones. It will directly check else. And if else is correct, then that will be printed. One of these statements is executed if uh, during if else statements. That is the main speciality of it. So that's why we, uh, we just wrote this at the top. If number is equal to is equal to zero, if this number is zero, then directly print is neither, neither order nor even. This is a special case and that's why we wrote it at the top rather than putting it at the bottom. So now we'll just put this as if elif else, that is the structure, right? If elif else, the elif statements, uh, yeah, this is the elif statement. But yeah, it's just the, the same. If num, elif basically means else if. If num is equal to is equal to zero, print num is neither order nor even. Else if num percent is 2 equal to equal to 0, print num is an even or even number. Else, print num is an odd number. Yeah. So now this this is correct. This will, these are the perfect if else statements. This structure is perfect. So now moving on, we just have to call the function. Yeah, I'll just write a comment over here that this is function definition. Yeah, just for your help. And these are the if else, uh, if, else, if else statements. And just now we just want to call back the function. We've wrote the function. We've stored the, we've stored all the necessary information over here. Now we just have to call the function. How to call the function? It's pretty easy. Just write the function again, even or or. And what is the argument inside? Well, it's just num. We're taking the num, we're taking the input from the user. So just calling the function and that's it. You're done. I'll just put over here that this is a function call. Now let's check. Hopefully there's, there's no errors. We're done. We've done everything correctly. Let's go. Um, int input enter number inputting an integer. Hopefully there's no error. Yeah. Enter number. Let's say 8. 8 is an even number. Cool. Enter number. Let's say 11. 11 is an odd number. Enter a number. Let's type some random shit. And then 1. Okay. What happened? <laughs> what the heck? Let's try again. One. Um. Oh wait. Uh, did I just? Yeah, that's a huge range of number. To be honest, I'll have to shorten it something like this. Hopefully. Okay, let's just try zero. Zero is neither or nor even. Yeah. So that's how we make the program. To be honest, it should also run for larger numbers. But yeah. Uh, uh, we probably 
uh, hit the max capacity over here that's why it's probably not running but yeah for basic numbers i hope you understood zero neither or not even and the other one and two are coming as the other numbers are coming as odd or uh, even respectively but yeah this was the basic logic of the program and i hope you guys understood it and as always i'm gonna i'm gonna create and produce more programs for you all just basic ones right now and hopefully you guys enjoy python along with me so yep until then see you guys next time thank you